right, everyone, after a long and pretty terrible bike ride, <laughs> finally got to the quail. Check this out. We got a wristband, boys. We going in. <laughs> but there's crazy stuff that's just out here in the front first, like the parking lot area. So I'm going to go around and show you all these sweet cars stirring off. Got a nice Huracan. Here, got a SF90. Back there, we have a TDF that I'm actually gonna go look at in just a second. I'll show you the rest of these. F12. Let's check on them. 812, my bad. Portofino. 720S. And up here, we've actually got a couple of really cool cars. <gasps> the dog vlog. We got Alex Choi representing the Audi gang. Absolutely love the wheels that he did. Tribute to the old racing style. And then his 720 that he beats the crap out of, but is still so sick. Let's go see that. F12 TDF. Now this is one beautiful car. All of the little accents, like this carbon piece. This sort of winglet by the window. And the louvered fenders. Car 765 NSX Pista I love the color of this STO Beautiful color, beautiful spec Bonds, Aston Martin. Check this out. We got the mini guns. <laughs> right there. The interior on these is just next level. I really love that old classic look. <laughs> That's funny. Let's head into the show. Check this out. First time seeing one of these. This is called the Zenvo. And it's pretty insane. This wing right here moves. It's all hydraulics. So depending on which way you're turning, it will then turn give you the proper amount of downforce. Check out those wheels. Forged carbon. And then blue carbon up top with a super unique pattern. Let's see. Kind of see it. Yeah, there you go. And then, just you know, another F50. It's only like the fifth one I've seen. <laughs> Still looks incredible. Also got another SF90. Finished in like a matte brown. Looks pretty cool. Okay, let's get, actually get into the show. I'll see you guys when I'm back in there. Alright everyone, and we are in. We are here at... Super 
excited. I want to go see the Lamborghini booth and the Bugatti booth. Check those out. I saw a couple of Rimex last night. So we'll go see if those are here as well. Here we go. We're at the Bugatti stand. I have no idea what the name is. But if this is the way Bugatti is going, no, I kind of, I kind of like the Chiron with the the C. They have it still slightly, but it's pretty good looking. Basically, this rear end though. One of my favorite. <laughs> In case you ever wanted to see what a Bugatti engine looks like when it's out of it. Yeah. So two right I thought that's what they were going to do anyway. That's what they told us. Alright, we're here at the Lamborghini booth. They just unveiled the Urus Performante. Here you got a Huracan Evo Spider. As well as the new STO. New to me, actually. I've only seen a couple of these since I've been out here. But here's the Urus Performante. There's a lot more exposed carbon. A little spoiler that they've adapted. Full Alcantara. The nice subtle touches. They've got this new vent on the hood. And then the Huracan Technica. This is my first one I've ever seen, so it is absolutely beautiful. Pretty much the same as the other Huracan, just a couple minor like styling techniques, I think. But nevertheless, Lamborghini still remains my favorite automaker. Here we are at the Hennessy booth. We're going to get a start up on this. The Venom F5 Roadster. Tons of carbon fiber. I, the whole thing is carbon fiber. Those seats look pretty uncomfortable as well, but I don't know. Maybe that's some really good padding. Here we have the Rimac Nevera. So I actually saw both of these driving down this way last night. It is 11 o'clock at night. These two went ripping by. Obviously, they're all electric, so I didn't really hear anything, but I see that interior. Oh, they're very large carbon fiber weave. Beautiful interior. 
Here we have the Maserati MC20. Their brand new sort of sports car. Very simplistic on the interior. And the seats look very comfortable as well. What do you guys think? Here are the cars I'm most excited about. The Koenigseggs. This is the Jesco or Yesco, depending on if you say the J or not. Koenigsegg always kills it with their interior work. Right there is the man we have to thank for these beautiful works of art. Christian von Koenigsegg from Sweden. Here's the Jesko Absolute. A little bit out of my price range, but you know, maybe we could maybe we could figure something out. <laughs> and this is the card that they just unveiled today at the show. The CC850. Got reminiscent of the CCX taillights and the greatest thing it's a manual. Let's go check out the front. The beautiful wheel design and then this front end. Killer. Still got the mono wiper. Let's get a shot of the interior. Check out the Audi booth. I currently have an S3 and absolutely love it. So, check this out. Let's see this interior. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Wow, that's a lot of space. You've got all your controls for your climate. Thing right on the door seal. No side view mirrors, just just little cameras. I mean, if 
this has to be the future of Audi, I'll take it. The McLaren Solus GT. We stopped at Sub In and Out, Sub Museum, and then something else. It looks like you can only fit one person in this. Which is probably the point. We have Shmi 150. I saw him a couple nights ago. Let's see, check out that wing. Absolutely amazing. Of course, Ferrari needs their own little spot for them. But check this out. Straight to California, F40. Where it was sold in 1974 to the first owner in Hollywood, California. In 1976, the second owner in Riverside, California, acquired the car. 1989. It's a perfect preservation example. It's original exterior paint and the Monza SP2. Crazy how you just have no windshield. Get that polarization for all of you so you can get a good look at it. Congratulations, Stefano. Thank you for bringing this board. Check out this full carbon 765. Thank you very much, guys. Great car. Every single bit of this car is carbon fiber. But I do like that they did the blue accents. And accent color is always very nice. Original production for the much loved Mini started in 1959. was purchased from its original EB110. by Mark Expert, Heritage Garage in Costa Mesa, California. Eric Breslow bought it. It's a 1965 Austin Mini Cooper S, winner of all things minis. Hey, well done, Eric. Great. He's slid the window open to wave at us, so congratulations to the winner of all things Mini, Eric Breslow. Off you go. Brilliant car. Brings back memories of the Italian. Another special award, the 50th anniversary of the BMW M division. Created in 1972 to help facilitate BMW's racing program, BMW Motorsport proudly celebrates the 50th anniversary of their iconic M division. Sharing the M badge in both racing and street form, we're honored to present examples of Benjamin Clymer with his 1980 BMW M1. Benjamin. I love how they even bring helicopters out. Congratulations. Here we have a 1966 Ford wow, GT40 Mark I road car. The Honourable Sir Michael Kaduri and Philip Kaduri to join in celebrating our final two awards for Spirit of the World of 15 I think the place has only 31,000 miles. The first of all, Spirit of the Quail Award. ...to have some fun on the road track. So thank you for presenting. Before it goes, I need to talk to you off the quail. Zonda R. Martin, don't forget to pick Zonda up your R. souvenir post for a magazine. Zonda R. The pick up lo locations along the road near the crossing. I'll tell you Zonda about R. in a minute. But just and I bet there's the more on the other side. The quail, I have never seen it. Goes to represent the quail in so many Zondas. This was the one on top here. Holds the record of their track. Loved seeing this car in that episode. It was such a beautiful work of art. All thanks to this man right here, Horatio Pagani. Just how raw this car is. You can even see a slight little defect right there in the car. It just goes to show you how raw these cars are. Just how thing is. I still can't get over this blue carbon. Pagani really know what they're doing. And look at this. Oh, perfect. You know, if you ever need to change your alternator, it's right there. It's simple. Look at all the components. 
I would love to own a Pagani one day. Absolutely, just, just art. You can barely call them cars. Cause they're just on another level. This is the one we saw yesterday. The Pagani Waiwara Roadster BC. Oh my goodness. I think this is my favorite. <laughs> Full matte carbon with maroon, matte red, I don't even know, accents. The exhaust tips as well. Have you ever seen a more beautiful car? The answer is no. <laughs> Found the four GTs. Depending on what car you put it on, the Golf livery can either look amazing, like this one, or terrible, like some of the other ones I've seen. But man, just everything is so perfect. Like even the just the headlight housing. Alright, which one would you take? Would you take the yellow and black? Red? Or the gold flurry? Let me know. We'll see you later. Lamborghini SV. <laughs> I haven't seen a Centenario yet though. And it is absolutely crushing my heart. Because I thought that would be one of the... That would be the craziest car that I would have seen. That's my dream car. So the Murcielago SV and Spiker. Check out the interior on these. These are absolutely insane. Look at this linkage. You really hear the clicks and everything when you shift and just the attention to detail. There's one of these in Utah. I don't know if it's still there. But I sure hope it is. Let's see what else there is. The Lamborghini Countach. Not one, but two. Along with the Diablo, this amazing color. Very, very special color. I think it's like a 50th anniversary. 30th special edition. And, and do the look at this. Look how clean this is. I just, I'm just curious. Like, okay, this car. This car. It's from 1985. And it looks this good. Look at the Lamborghini badge. Look at how they used to make them. Look at that. <laughs> Let's take a look inside the Diablo. Oh, that is nice. And let's go check that out. I think this is a Ford GT that I can take a few good, good pictures of and get the capture the detail for you all. It's probably the closest thing to my dream car I can get. Lamborghini Aventador SV finished in Rosso Mars. This would be it. This would be my dream car. If I couldn't have the Centenario. Twenty sixteen Lamborghini Aventador LP seven fifty dash four Super Veloce.
BMW Z8. Another beautifully rare, special car. Unless you're here at Quail, and there's three. Uber BMW. Man, look at that. I had a Z3, and it was nowhere near this beautiful. They launched it. That's awesome. Another cool car I've never really seen in person. Saline F7, I think is what it's called. Yep, there we go. S7R. Obviously, because it's the race car version. But. What an incredible car. Well, that is it. Quail has come to an end. Absolutely incredible show. Uh, so fortunate that some guy gave me his wristband so I could get in. Uh, <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.